F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, family and friends? We are your two hosts. I'm Brolic. And I'm Formal. And welcome back to F double R. Friend requests, reviews with friend requests, friends to watch Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 4, titled 51. <sighs> you know, one. yeah, you know, we, 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 we get into the thick of it. Things, you know, things are starting to, you know, the realization of certain characters are starting to pop up. So that being said, how you feel going into this next episode for me? I feel some type of way. Why? I feel like you lied. I, lied. I thought you said Walt was 51 already. No, I said about it, him turning 51. No, nah, I said, uh. He turned fifty in the in season one. Damn, I misheard you. That's three <laughs> episodes of messed up predictions I had for what. I'm thinking like he about to turn fifty two next week. He about to be on the run already <laughs> in New Hampshire and shit. Damn. I right, well shit. I I'm all messed up now. He's okay. just only now turning fifty one. I have no idea what this episode is gonna be about. I mean, he turned fifty one. He 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 survived a year of of cancer and drug dealing. And he's a totally different person, a, a terrible, much worse person than he's started out as. Yep. So maybe this is gonna be a, maybe it's just gonna be a wild ass episode because, you know, I would expect a year of this, this type of environment to have like a self-reflecting type of moment. Hmm. But the way Breaking Bad been treating me. Walt ain't having those moments anytime soon. He about to go Heisenberg 51.0 right now. And it's going to be some wild stuff. So let's hop in because I like see- season five been treating me really well. I feel like season four makes you a fan. So season five has no choice but to make you feel good as you watch it. So yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for some surprises. Yeah, man. Let's, let's, let's get right into this episode. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment and also don't forget to subscribe. And while you at it, hit that notification bell so you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go. 51. Yes. And yes, you've been thinking about it all wrong, sir. Man, I have doubts. Your little darling's got nine lives. Nine lives. Hmm. <laughs> Nine windshields, <laughs> nine <laughs> lives. CB shaft, this shit indestructible. joints, axle, replaced all of it, no way around it. Didn't have to replace the windshield this time. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's wild they brought that up. But... <laughs> mm, yes, sir. The Heisenberg. What would you give me for it? What's a blue book? Mm. No. I mean, what will you pay me for this car? You give me 50 bucks, and she's all yours. Check the register. Are you crazy? <laughs> you have no idea who your father is. The Riddler with yes, his Got the PT Cruiser. You already know everybody else. Ooh. He pulled hey. up in the 300? In the Chrysler, right? That's a Chrysler, right? Mm, yeah, Chrysler 300. Mm-hmm. That's the poor man's Phantom, bro. Yeah. That's, that's why that shit be popping in the black market. You like, what? Hey, that shit looking Get nice, you a Phantom. It A 300, nice. When they first yeah. came out, I wanted one low key, but yeah, I couldn't remember when that they shit. came out. <laughs> wow. Made them go back. Back, like if you get in the three hundred, I'm getting my challenger. Hey. I like Flynn. He a manipulative little bastard, man. Look at him, <laughs> revving that shit. Hey, hey. we in a Tokyo, hey. bro. Who was that commenter that said something about Fast and the Furious? <laughs> Every episode, Fast and the Furious now, like. Hey. Okay, we got the. Uh, the German cats, she putting on two different shoes. She too nervous out here, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, Lydia. I'm at work right now. What's up? You got mm. visitors. I mean, 30 seconds. 
Damn, 30 seconds. How Mike got the plug like that? Ain't she in Germany right now? Nah, I know she not. Madrigal was... EA. Damn, my boy out there without the... Uh, in, uh, Kane today. Curtain. Yes, we did. And no limp. Last time, he still had a hard-ass limp. Okay, there's the limp. It's a little... It's still it's still heavy. Mm-hmm. Progress, though. For progress, for sure. Maybe pants. Powder blue shirt. Damn, they came in with the unis. They finna take someone away in cuffs. Why did you stand there and let that dude see that you ratted on him? Like, <laughs> I'd have been gone. <laughs> I would have been like him right there. Tchum, I'm out of here. Like. Okay. No one's talking to the police. I just had my 14 DEA agents barge into my office, screaming and yelling at me, and they were swarming all over the warehouse. See that? What the hell? Minus 10? <laughs> there was four of them motherfuckers in there, like. I'll send a new guy. Mm. Damn, who is Lydia? She seemed more badass than the last episode. Now she seemed like she's just a little punk. Like if she under Mike's boot or some shit. Hmm. <laughs> She hella mad. She hella mad she couldn't pull in her driveway. You saw that? <laughs> you still there for me? Pissed. 500 horsepower. It totally smokes. Horsepower is in everything. Don't you know that? Uh, you drive like a geezer. Oh, I, really? I drive like a geezer. Tell me, can a geezer do donuts? I don't think so. He don't know. He was in that bitch in the parking lot. And then blew that shit up. Man, she's squeezing the hell out of her finger. She about to fucking pop her shit off. People will just chalk that up as me being softy. Huh. So I'm tired of your bullshit story, Skylar. I'm going to make up my own stories. And I'm going to keep these cars. What do you think about boarding school? I'm back. Boarding school? For who? For Junior? For Flynn? Or for Holly, she mean. <laughs> We're in the top ten in the country. Flynn already eighteen. He's a year away from college. Why on earth? Yeah, yeah, like what you mean? I mean, I get it, the safety and shit, but he out here, bro. Yeah. Holly, dude. Where are we sending our aim? <laughs> Peace Corps. <laughs> 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 It's so sad that Walt really just thinks shit's sweet, bro. Mm, thank you. Hey, Mom, you forgot something. Dad's bacon? That's oh, okay. I can do it. No, no. Mom has to. You don't get bacon. Has to. The oppression. Junior, you better than that. It's it's sort of tradition, though. What tradition is it for uh, for your wife to bring you bacon? About to see. Okay. She about to hit him with the crumble. Oh! <laughs> oh! The callbacks. Yes. They out here playing. But he said it's a pretty small one. Damn, Junior giving her a hard ass time. Let this bitch breathe. Oh, now you're talking. Ah, you, you know mad. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, good. <laughs> Junior? Nah, for real though. <laughs> Teamwork. And it's Walt's birthday. You better give him that bacon, bro. And you got Burgermeister Meister Burger over here in Germany, five thousand miles away. You got you got this guy. It's gotta be someone in the in the middle, you know, some some number we're missing. Mmm. Hank is too smart. He connected that with just some thumbtacks and yarn. <laughs> he knew there was someone in the beginning. I mean in the middle. Maybe. She was wearing hmm. mismatched shoes. Ooh. There we go. Yup. Ooh. Exa wow. I got you, <laughs> Hank. Exactly. And that's the same way Fring had y'all. He's, he's two together, put together. And look at that. Line. Our money is on, on this guy, Michael Ehrman Trout. He's Fring's uh, head of 
corporate security. Now, we're going to stay on. We're putting together a surveillance team as we speak. Okay. The other thing is... Uh, mm. Mm. Here we go. Related, but... Prince Cooks. You got subs in the lab fire. Hmm. Maybe one of them was your Heisenberg. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, like I said, there's still a lot of questions. A lot of questions. We got one season to get it all. <laughs> hmm. This office needs an ASAC. And I'm thinking we should be promoting from within. I knew it. I called this shit like in season four, maybe? Much as I hate losing a good field, man. That's the job. You'd need to be okay with it. Hmm. What do you say, Hank? It's a Damn. lot of responsibility. He got to look over every investigation in the office, not just this one. Yeah. Yes. I want it. Yes, you want it. Yes. You fucking deserve it. ASAC Schrader. Yeah. He deserved that shit. I, um, I was almost afraid that he was going to say no because he was like, nah, I want to be in the field. I got to mm -hmm. solve the blue meth. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's my birthday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Birthday party waiting for me, you know, so. Uh, yeah, cool, yeah, no problem. <laughs> he kind of happy about that, too. Hey, uh, happy birthday. Nice. Trying to have a happy work-life balance, you know? That's important. It is important, and they they their own boss right now, so they could exactly. do that. Exactly. <laughs> and he put on a little... Oh man, yes. <laughs> he about to get let down. I know Skyler don't got shit for this dude right now. Happy birthday, Walt. Where's your mom? Uh, kitchen. What's the plan? Um, Hank and Maria are on their way. Okay. Uh, chocolate cake is requested. <clears throat> we need some more invitees, though. More attendees. Yeah, you remember the fiftieth birthday. You remember what? <laughs> yeah, that's why I said he didn't even want his 50th. Like, yeah, and there was people there people. that you were like, who the hell are all these people? <laughs> Bro, all them extras they pulled from outside. It was probably people walking their dogs. They like, hey, yo, y'all got 10 minutes? You want $200? Like, come be in this legendary show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, keep going. I believe you still kill us. That man got that PTSD. Like, I can't be having people drive me no more. Ah, because she knows about Skylar's adultery. Marie, come on. I'm you sorry, can't I... tell him right now. It's going to be terrible. I made a promise to someone. How are you going to say that to your husband? Like, he's going <laughs> to cry even more now. It involves infidelity. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I knew it. False second cell phone. Sorry, babe, but I was way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> you think it wrong, buddy. <laughs> now she really gonna tell him. Because he's wrong. Exactly. <laughs> Marie fucking Marie. Skyler? Yes, your sister. Oh wait, no, her sister. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting too hype. <laughs> Bro, it took him for how how far do they live from each other? God damn. It's nighttime now. Hey. Drop in the comments how far Hank and Marie live from Walt. I want to know. It took them all day to get there in that drive just now. Well, I need to I'm know. Out of here. Someone Thanks. has the answer. Happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. <sighs> Congratulations again, Uncle Hank. Thanks. Walt Jr. don't get no shots today? <laughs> nah, he's driving <laughs> now. Shot. Can't be giving him alcohol. Man. That's true. That's true. That's true. I ate a good Hell of a couple of cars too. there, Walt. I overdid it a little, but with these new lease rates, <laughs> I mean, they're mighty attractive. Well, it is. It has been quite a year, huh? Do you know <laughs> that? <laughs> that was exactly a year ago. Oh, yeah. man. Jesus. Yeah, right? Well, it seems like longer, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, it's, uh, it does seem like longer for me, too. Honestly, I never thought I'd make it this far. Serving. Get Scarlett over there. She about to do some wild. I just wanted to quit. She getting in the pool? But you guys, you got she me gonna through it. She gonna jump in that shit or just walk in it? Get me going. Or faint in it? I was so sick. 
It was rough going at first. My head was in Skylar's lap. And I was just asking her if this could all be over. It was too hard. It was. She getting sucked in like, like in Constantine. Hey, Sky, maybe it's time to get out now. What do you think? Skylar? Hank asked you a question. You need to get out. Skylar? <laughs> said Hank asked you a question. Right, jump in there. What? You don't care about your wife? So you need to get out. She has to. Come on. How am I supposed to? I mean, there's literally labels. <laughs> on but the box. She don't even know what the labels say. <laughs> Hey. Or maybe she was supposed to. Oh yeah. Wait. Okay. Okay. They coming to pick up the wait, yep. wait. the uh, the, the methylamine. methylamine or something. Methylamine. Methylamine. Yeah. I'll take it. Paranoid. Anything. I'm getting gang raped by prison. <laughs> she said he looked like a, a Twenty One Jump Street <laughs> motherfucker. Like <laughs> send him in the high. Just young enough to go to high school, but just old enough for motherfuckers to really know what's going on. <laughs> You got one? Yeah, yeah. Yep, same barrel. Damn, they didn't even change the barrels in Gus's lab. Imagine if they would have found those barrels. They would have for sure had the answer. Wait, 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 stop! It was coming out, it was corroding, it was leaking through. What the fuck was that, a cell phone? Oh, no. A GPS? So, uh... What's the next move? Might be good to have her talk to someone. <clears throat> I just had no idea she was taking it this hard. All that body language, bro? You had no idea? That's how egotistical you've become, Mr. Heisenberg? She's gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. <laughs> We both exactly. um, think that she should talk to someone. These things happen in a marriage, but it isn't unfixable. So, and keep an open mind here. What if we took the kids for a while? Might not be a bad idea, though. It gives y'all time to scuffle. <laughs> I might need to yell it out, like yell at each other real quick for a day. <laughs> and my niece is only the easiest, most delicious baby that was ever born. It'd be fun. <laughs> the most delicious baby. <laughs> I've never heard someone call a baby delicious before. That shit is crazy. <laughs> this idea. Was it yours? Actually, it was Skylar's. Walt know his wife. <laughs> he like, let me ask if this was your idea. He knew it was hers. I gave Marie bottles. They'll stop and pick up diapers along the way. I don't want the children here anymore. It isn't safe. So wait, now that you're in charge, it's 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 what it's going to be smooth sailing from here on out. I don't see why not. I can promise you that Gus Fring is dead, and he was the threat. He was the danger. I thought you were the danger. Ah. <laughs> ah. I thought you were the danger. Ah. What happened? What? That whole speech dismantled. Trying to protect my children from me? That just. She said it. There's blood on my hands, too. What blood? It's all coming back. Panicky? The only blood is from when he bust open your cervix with the bend the knee, like. <laughs> 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 I'm in it now. I'm compromised, but I won't. I will not have my children living in a house where dealing drugs and hurting people and killing people is shrugged off as shit happens. Hey, that they are not I in said no. I swear to God, I won't have them back here. Or what? What are you going to do? Eyes. There it is. You seen the blink? You saw the blink? I told y'all he'd be fucking clicking in and out. I mean specifically. Exactly. What like move? what? My next move is maybe I hurt myself. Maybe next time I have you committed, put you in some 
in the mm. facility while I take care of the kids myself. Is that what you want? Bro, you can't threaten her with shit like that. She could just say, I'll have you locked up. Give myself a black eye. Say that you beat me. These motherfuckers ain't shit. <laughs> what are you going to do? Or are you going to run off to France? Are you going to close the curtains, change the locks? This is a joke. Come on, Skyler. You want to take me on? You want to take away my children? What's the plan? I don't know. I will count every minute that the kids are away from here, away from you, as a victory. Mmm. I can't stop laundering your money. I can't keep you out of this house. I can't even keep you out of my bed. <laughs> Bide my time. And wait. Wow. Wait until what, Walt? Exactly. For my death? That's yeah, crazy. Man. I said they had to have a conversation. They had to yell at each other. It wasn't much yelling, but whoo. Where some things said just now. Who that, Mike? Okay. Okay. Look at that. You tell me what that looks like. If the DEA's tracking our barrels, there goes our precursor connection. The person who spotted this. Was it you or was it her? Lydia. She saw it first. Leave her alone and take our business elsewhere. She's right. We will be taking <laughs> our business elsewhere. Right after I leave her alone in a ditch. <laughs> Damn. Mike Cole. <clears throat> As ice. She, she didn't seem crazy Facts. to me. You know, she just seemed like uptight. You know, and what if you're wrong about her? I'm not wrong. But what if you are? I vote. It's a voting thing. Mr. White, way in here, would you? He ain't with the bullshit today. The methylamine keeps flowing no matter what. We are not ramping down. Nothing mm. stops this train. Nothing. 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 I think you said it was your, your birthday, so. Oh! Hey! My man ain't getting no gifts. Except for from Jesse, like, that's crazy bed no bro she don't even want you in the bed she about to chain smoke the whole pack chain she's trying to induce the, the cancer she's trying to she's trying to induce his cancer like she finna just come and just start blowing that shit in his face while he's sleeping like i can't fuck with skyler <laughs> The person who gave me this present wanted me dead, too. He pointed a gun right between my eyes, right here. He changed his mind about me, Skyler. And so will you. And so will you. <laughs> but that's only well, because he manipulated him into liking him. Hey, that's why he says, so will you. He making demands. But it doesn't look like he can manipulate her anymore, though. Look at her. She's done. You know what they say. You either die the hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And those are facts. Woo. And Walt has been a long he's been alive for too long at this point. <laughs> that man is a villain. Fuck. Why I I Alright. There we have it. Episode four, season five in the books. So, 51, man. Walt finally turned 51. You know, the tradition stays alive to now. Yeah, man, this episode was heavily focused on Skyler. So, I really want to kind of know what your thoughts is on this episode. Because I, I know you're not a big fan of Skyler. So, I'm just <clears throat> kind of curious how you feel about this episode. <clears throat> I, I actually like this episode. I think it was it was a, it started off real fun. Like, you know, with yeah. the cars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like... They reeled us in, had 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 a, a nice little enjoyable ride. Hank got a promotion, so that was really good good to see because he obviously deserves it. And then yeah, and then the rest of it basically was was Skylar's mental health, um, which in my opinion, no matter how I feel about characters, if y'all watch my end talk and stuff like that, y'all know that I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm a straight shooter. Like I don't have to like you or or I could dislike you. I could like you and I'ma still give it as 
as true as it could come off of my chest. Like, so even though I don't really like Skylar and Ted, the situation that Skylar's going through is, is, is terrible. Like, and I actually said this, um, I don't remember which episode. It might have been this season that I said it, probably like mm -hmm. episode two or something, where I was like, Skylar is now in that Kafka S situation that, that Walt and Jesse was in. Like, and she just proved it by everything she just said. Like, I can't figure out how to get you on my bed. Like, I can't figure out how to get you out the house. Like, I'm just like, damn. Like, I knew she was feeling that way, but damn. Like, once when you hear it, it's like, damn. Like, mm -hmm. so <clears throat> that was a very important conversation that I feel like they needed to have. Like, but it's just so weird. Walt is so weird. Like, like I don't know if it's his ego or what. Like, that shit goes in one ear out the other. I kind of feel bad because I be thinking about me and my girl. Like, how she be coming at me. I'm thinking I'm like Walt now because sometimes, <laughs> like, damn, does shit really go in one ear out the other? Because, like, he came in the next scene like, hi, how you doing? Like, what, bro? <laughs> like, do you, did you not <laughs> just like, yes. did y'all not just have the conversation the night before? Are you still just coming in all happy-go-lucky? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. like. So it, it's just crazy, like, to see this happening because on one, on one hand, I'm like, this that karma. Like. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could, you, it's this point that I'm gonna make is debatable and arguable and stuff like that. But like, at the end of the day, I feel like Skylar really betrayed Walt. Like, like, yes, he was going through his things, his fugal state and, and making shit hella awkward, not coming home, having two cell phones. But like, when she took that next step with Ted of all people, like a dude she already had history with from being a creep, like she took that step with him. Like I said, I would have probably been better if she would have just got a random stranger, like, but with Ted? Like, so I'm I'm like, at one end, I'm like, this that karma. But on the other hand, I'm just like, damn, like, this is a terrible situation for her to be in because it's not just her, you know, it's her kids too. Like, she's thinking about her family and all that as well. Like, she's yeah. thinking about the safety. Like, she's scared of Walt. She's scared of the stuff he's doing, he's been doing. She's scared of the situation she's in. And she feels like she doesn't have control of it anymore. Whereas when she first hopped in if y'all remember she was ready to be controlling meticulous skylar and now that she's lost all of that she don't know what to do she looking terrible she don't even glow no more bruh her skin used to glow in season yep. two and three like not even that shit dull so it's crazy like yeah it's crazy seeing all of that transpire and all this stems from uh her knowing what walt did to frame so mm -hmm. like that one decision is what really changed skylar because like you said at first she was with everything very meticulous and you know she, we got skysenberg you know what i'm saying but it's just like ever since she figured out that her husband is a murderer that's mm -hmm. when things are really starting to you know change for the worse yeah man it sky skylar is going through it right now man and and yeah i like how you 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 put that she's in a kafka s kind of situation right now which is kind of true and um, yeah. how you feel about her giving the kids to, to, to Hank and them? Because, I mean, that's like, like she said, she's going to count yeah. every second. Yeah, that, that line was wild as a victor. That line was mm -hmm. wild. Like, I the, the, the fact of getting them out of the house to have that initial conversation, yes. I agree with 100%. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I said it during the reaction, like, get the kids out the house, scream at each other, do y'all little whatever y'all yeah, got to yeah. do. Like, get it out the way. Yeah. Couples go through it, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but, damn. Like, she hit him with some meteors. That's why I'm like, damn, he really came in the next day. Like, hey, how you doing? Like, after getting hit with... Bro, if my girl tell me it's a victory every time the kid's away from me and she can't even get me out of the bed, bro, I'm out, bro. Especially the type of money Walt got. I don't even got money like Walt, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to have a lease by the next, by that weekend, and I'm going to be out. <laughs> like, but it is what it is. Like, you remember what but he that's said not what... But you remember what, what he happened? said towards the end of, of the episode, like person who gave me this watch at one point wanted to kill me yeah <coughs> yeah so that's like his mindset his mindset is yeah if i can change because not only that you know he he changed a lot of people's mind throughout seasons you know so it's like in his mind he's like i could change another person's mind to to feel a different type of way towards me so he yeah i really think he could but, pull it off though which is crazy i mean <sighs> I come, feel that, but it's just not, it's not, it, it ain't clicking the wall. Like, 
Yes, it, it just it ain't the same. It ain't the same. Like, cause you right. He he definitely changed a lot of people's minds, but a lot of people's minds that he's changed is people that he's met for the first time after cancer. Mm. This is his wife for you know 15, yeah. 20 plus years. Like yeah, yeah, they've been yeah. together for a minute. And he's already changed her mind <laughs> to what it is now. Amazing. So, <laughs> like, what is you talking about, Walt? You ain't changing nobody's like he he fucked up, man. Like I mean and it's it's hard though, cause it's like <laughs> this <laughs> this episode i mean this show not even this episode this show it really plays with your your moral boundaries and shit like that because you're really trying to figure out you don't want to sound like a piece of shit person yeah. by say hold up this makes sense but it do make sense but it's like shit where, where are you at so it's yeah. like like i feel you though like i do feel like walt thinks and that's the ego that i keep talking about like he does think he can change her mind and and he also like i said during the reaction he's did all of this to get his family back like so the fact that he's losing it mm-hmm. again, because he's only got a glimpse of his family back. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying? He started smashing his wife again. Like, things were going good. She wasn't seeing Ted anymore. Like, you know, so like things were actually for a minute there for like half a season, maybe things were going OK for him again. Like, so the fact that he's finally accomplished his goals of getting out from under Gus's boot. Now he just has to make the money back unfortunately but like he was kind of almost at the end of you know his journey of what he started out for and now it's all blowing back so it's like it's kind of fucked up because it's like damn i feel bad for walt too (laughs) like but he's putting scholar through some shit like and it's just getting crazy like because hearing him like speak to her telling like saying shit like you really want to go up against me like shit like that is it's like damn son it's hard to root for you because what is you ready to do to your wife now we didn't see what you did to brock Gus mm. and everyone else who didn't stood in your way. So what is he really what talking about? You you gonna stand up to me? Like damn son, he gonna have her committed and some like yep. yeah. So that that the that, yeah, that part of the episode was I mean that was the episode basically yeah, that conversation really was. was just fire was yeah, fire. I think fire. that's the best thing about Breaking Bad is that sometimes you want to root for the. <clears throat> so on so bad guy like even though it's not the right thing you know it's not the right thing to do but at the same time you want to root for them because it's just like you know you're kind of going through this journey with them so it's kind of like you kind of grew an attachment kind of like jesse so you know i feel like we're a little bit like jesse like you know i fucks with walt but like the things that he's doing right now is just like damn it's hard like you said it's hard to root for him especially at this particular moment when he's you know, berating his wife. When he and going crazy. Her all yeah. Of shit. So, yeah, it's it's tough. Um, I think a subject that tough. you haven't touched on is don't is the little meeting and the, the situation with Lydia. Like, how, mm-hmm. how you feel about that? So that, I don't know, man. Lydia is, I don't know if I said it before, but I'm saying it today. There's always wild cards in these shows. And mm. Lydia is, is, she's now one of them because... Like, the last episode when she was trying to get Mike killed and stuff like that, when she had the list, yep. like, I thought she was, like, about it. Like, oh, I'm okay. She, she, you know, she got some, you know, like, but then this episode, wrong shoes on. She's sitting there panicking, calling Mike, telling him he can't, she can't do this. Like, she's trying to cut him off from the methylamine. And then the whole GPS thing, it, it isn't necessarily confirmed from this episode, but if she did do that, then it's like, what the hell? Like, what? What do you really like? What do you got going on? Like, and it, and, and it's, it's just kind of, it's kind of crazy because Lydia isn't the only one in Madrigal that knows about Gus and his operation, but she's right now like the only one that they keep like really showing. So it's just like, like I don't like. She's just she's a scary wild card for me. Like I don't know what the hell she's gonna bring to the table. Like I don't know if she's gonna end up flipping setting someone up like she's not she's not dependable she's not trustworthy so the meeting that they had at the end i kind of agree with mike like he he should have killed her that day than when he was in the crib with her but it made sense though they needed the methylamine to get the shit popping and then facts mike yep exactly mike needed the money for everyone's uh hazard pay yep good point good point Mm -hmm. and then also walt really is the one who pulling the strings anyways right now even though ain't nobody going to admit it yet, but when Walt say jump, everybody's jumping. So he's saying the methylamine don't stop. Hmm. So Mike's going to have to, he's going to have to come to a, a agreement with Lydia, I guess. 
and that's even more scary because i don't know what her point like i i don't know what the hell her character is yet like and i don't trust her so i'm gonna keep my eyes on that because i'm i'm worried like i i think mike should 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 go ahead and do that but one thing i did like though was how jesse was so pressing about it because although we know like jesse has those softer sides and stuff like that i feel like this specific situation kind of like directly ties into the whole gus thing of how gus didn't really kill brock mm. and he was asking he was asking what like did did he have I to like die that. like yeah. it's like the same thing with lydia just now he's like what if we're wrong what if we're wrong what if she didn't put the jeep should we kill her like I, I thought that was kind of interesting to just see that like especially since we just dropped the finale too like. <laughs> i mean i think i think that's pretty much it right you got any final thoughts Nah, I think I, I think I'm good. Well, actually, I do. Okay. It's a very small thought though, but I'm kind of I, I still am interested with the promotion thing about Hank because okay, like I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna create like tunnel vision for for the for whoever takes over because like Hank, okay. he he a boss man. Like he he been killing it. His deductive reasoning's on point. He's always putting shit together. Yep. So now that he'll be the top dog and not necessarily like in the field, although he still gets to oversee everything, like I still feel like that can still, you know, negatively affect some of the investigations if they have other people who are not as as boss as uh, Hank was. But at the same time, another thought that I had was since he is overseeing everything, maybe there's another investigation that another DEA agent is doing that probably could connect to what Hank's been doing as as an agent. And he'll be able to see that. Like he'll he'll have vision over all of that, so he'll be able to connect pieces even better. Okay. So I, I I'm on like I'm on the fence with it. I'm just like it could be good, it could be bad. No. Either way, I'm happy he got promoted though. Like because that's my boy. Like let's go. Hey. He deserved that. He's officially a sack Schrader. So yes. yeah, man. He he finally got you know an official title, which is uh which is also lovely. I love Hank too. Great character. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but if. You had to score this episode. What would you score it? Uh, I I think I'll give this one an eight. It's a nice solid eight. It was okay. like I said, I had fun with it. Like mm -hmm. it didn't, it wasn't too too much, too crazy. But things that happened were like, yeah, damn, yeah, like, damn. For real. And and too, like the episode kind of went by fast. I don't know if you felt that. Like it did. It, it, there was a time we had some technical dis difficulties, so yeah. it, could probably, it could probably be that. But I kind of felt like yeah. it went a little bit by, little little fast. Um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. We're going to get up out of here. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. And while you at it, hit that notification bell so you get notified when we go live. Have double R out. Peace. Peace. Peace.